Okay, universe, so for the next uh, few days, I'm going to be doing reviews for Gennady Tarkovsky's new show, Primal. Um, this has been something I've been looking forward to since it got announced earlier this year, and I was just counting down the days to finally see this, because this was something I was really looking forward to. An adult cartoon that doesn't need uh, fart jokes or anything like that, and Tarkovsky going off the rails. If the Samurai Jack show was any indication that he that this was going to be something big, yeah. And trust me, this is going to be awesome. Just from this first episode alone. This five-part miniseries looks like it's going to center, center around a lone caveman who's been given the name Spear and a dinosaur who's been named Fang. So the two of them, due to a tragedy, um, have, been put, have been brought together and now they're navigating this world filled with dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals. I gotta be honest, guys, this is amazing. This is straight up amazing. If you were looking for something out of the ordinary and not, in, you know, the adult animation repertoire, you know, if you were looking for something in the vein of, like, Castlevania, welcome, You have I got a show for you. Because this is more art over story. In fact, a lot of this was very reminiscent to me of the Dark Horse comic called Age of Reptiles, which was a, a comic um, by Dark Horse, and I think they, it's out of print, if I'm not mistaken, but basically what it was was a comic sent around dinosaurs, and it just used artwork. I don't even think there are word boxes, if I remember right, but it was more of an, art, of an artwork story, and that's very much what it was. Not because of the dinosaur thing, but because that this series uses art for its storytelling. And it, it, there's hardly any dialogue. There's no, there's just like grunts from Spear, who I'm convinced, by the way, is like my head canon is that Spear is Jack's ancestor, just from like the facial expressions. I know that's like Tarkovsky's art style and what have you, but like there are just some straight up facial expressions that are just so much reminiscent of Samurai Jack that it was just funny to me. So I was like, yep, that's that Spear is Jack's uh, ancestor in my head canon. Anyway. But getting back to the point, this com it almost said comic. This show is going to be using art to tell its story. Like you can just tell from just how well put together it is, and the animation is beautiful. Even when it's violent, and trust me, guys, this is a violent show. I'm not going to mince words. This is a if you have a weak constitution for violence, uh, maybe you shouldn't watch this. Um, but this is just beautiful. It's dark, but it's it, and it is incredibly violent. Like there are just some straight up kills in here. At the beginning, like at the beginning of this episode, it goes right out the gate going, "Yeah, you ain't ready for what's next." Um, especially the deaths that happen at the beginning of this episode. You're like, "Wow, they just show," and they don't shy away from anything. It's not like, "Oh, they gotta cut away real quick." No, they show it right to your face, and it is not pretty. It is straight up violent, but there's a storytelling to the violence. There's, and that's what I like is that it's not violence for violence' sake. It's more violence that helps the story along, and it illustrates the points. And I really appreciated that with the show. Um, it's a, it actually this whole episode of how it plays out is very much like how. Wolverine in the end of Old Man Logan just went after the Hulk gang. Um, and I don't want to give too much away, but if you know, if you saw the episode, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, this whole episode felt like, again, the episode at the end of Old Man Logan, where Logan uh, went after the Hulk gang and inevitably went after uh, one final fight with the Hulk himself. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Um, all the little subtle details, from the facial expressions to the background to even the creature designs themselves, is is just stunning. It's this is clearly Tarkovsky's like this has been his passion project. You can clearly see in this work that this is straight up his passion project, and he is not gonna apologize for any of it. It's this is some beautiful artwork. This is some beautiful animation. Like I said, even the violence is sickingly beautiful, and I got a feeling that we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Um, the other major thing is that, and I want to bring this up because I know I'll forget, I really want to see Tarkovsky 
do a animated Conan movie. I want to see him because if this is any indication of what he could do with Conan, yeah, sign him the fuck up for an animated Conan the Barbarian movie because could you imagine that? Oh my god, that'd be perfect. <laughs> anyway, um, and yes, I'm aware that this show is not accurate in the least, but who cares? This is like, as one person put it when I was watching the trailer for pri the final trailer for this show, I was uh, one person said it best. I don't give a shit if it's ina if it's inaccurate. It looks like the Flintstones on bath salts, and that's exactly what it is. What I also like is the dinosaur designs and even the character design for the cavemen are almost like an updated version of something you'd seen like Hanna-Barbera. Like, a lot of these dinosaurs look like, and even like the sound effects are from like the Barbar Hanna-Barbera era of their monsters and dinosaurs. So I really dug that. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. And again, this looks like a very adult Hanna-Barbera cartoon. And, God, I could go on and on about this episode, but it's just beautiful. If you want to see some cool dinosaur action, if you want to see some great animation and some great storytelling without a single word of dialogue spoken, have I got a show for you. Go check out Primal. It is on um, for the whole week of, uh, of this week, and I'm going to do episode reviews and try my best not to spoil anything in each episode, but it's going to be hard to do, honestly, uh, so we'll see about that. Um, but I love this show. I, I one episode in, I'm already, it, I'm sold. Like no, five minutes in, I was sold. Hell, I was sold from the first trailer way back last year or earlier this year, excuse me. So I'm I'm in it, and hopefully, universe, you guys are who are watching, you guys are gonna enjoy this too. So you guys tell us in the comments below, what did you guys think of Primal if you saw the first episode? If you guys liked it, did you guys like it, hate it, and are you guys going to continue with Primal? Um, also, if you're new here, remember to smash that like button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers, and like and share this video with, and all our others with your friends, family, and, and whoever else is following you on Instagram. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.